we encourage you to consider the purposeful ministry of God's Holy Spirit. God is purposeful in all His activities. Consequently, one of the many privileges assigned to every believer is a growing desire to know Christ more. Grasping the knowledge of Christ with a sharpening focus and an ever-deepening intimacy is an unparalleled honor. As we all know, this developing desire does not come natural to mortals. The truth is, this is the direct work of the indwelling Holy Spirit. Scripture reveals the Spirit's purposeful interaction with humanity in every sphere of Jesus' life and ministry. Primary to His divine activity in this world is the promotion and exaltation of Christ. From the initiation of Christ's incarnation, Mary was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. As the angel explained to Joseph, that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. When the time for baby Jesus' presentation to the Lord arrived, the old man Simeon had already been prepared. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. He took him, Jesus, up in his arms and blessed God. The Holy Spirit never seeks attention or glory for himself, even though he is God. His primary purpose in this world is to promote Christ, to bring praises and glory to God through Christ, and to enable mankind to do the same. John the Baptist gave this testimony, For this purpose I came baptizing with water, that he, Jesus, might be revealed to Israel. John continues, He who sent me to baptize with water said to me, he on whom you see the Spirit descend and remain, this is he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. There exists a powerful synchronism within the Godhead that makes their character and workings inseparable. The Spirit paved the way for Jesus, yet it would be Jesus who would pave the way for the Holy Spirit to enter and seal people's lives. The Bible never shows the Holy Spirit doing His own thing. He works in harmony with the Father and Son as the stealth member of the Godhead. He invisibly and sovereignly administers the Father's will in order for Christ to be revealed. After all, the Spirit revealed to the Apostle Paul the Christ-centeredness of creation. All things were created through Him and for Him. Therefore, every single atom in the cosmos exists for Christ. With that said, Christians have the extraordinary privilege of aligning with the purposeful work of the Holy Spirit. Paul elaborates, In Him, Jesus, you also, when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and believed in Him, we're sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, who is the guarantee of our inheritance until we acquire possession of it, to the praise of His glory. From salvation to the glory of eternity, believers are to reveal and exalt the Lord Jesus Christ. Anticipating His departure, Jesus explained what would happen following His ascension. The Helper the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. He will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. This is the legacy left to us who are in Christ. Today, be encouraged to consider the purposeful ministry of God's Holy Spirit. Share it. Pass it on. Assure God's children with it.